Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with NASA Link. To join the adventure, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Yes, my people, yes, my people, welcome back to the channel, you know? Welcome back to Original Living. Yeah, you don't know the thing set. Sunday morning this morning, and we back at it again. It's an experienced fishing morning this morning, alright? <laughs> yeah, man, and this morning, a cheer for us. Baltimore there, yeah, and Canada there, you know? Yeah man, so come back I wanna we spot this morning. The sea flat though but hopefully the, the visibility alright. The wind low too as well. Yeah man, so hopefully we can find something down there, you know. A long time we no go for no new location but yeah man shortly we are go try some different spot, you know? Yeah man, a circumstance is why we no go nowhere. You know, so. Let's go and hold on guys, we will sample the water here now and see what they catch up like. Yeah man, we need a fish figure to do some hook or some steam in it, you know? So man, so hopefully we can find that one this morning, alright? So stay tuned to the channel, we are go out and go see what we can find, alright? Yeah man, so reach by the spot here now, you know? Nearly a dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's part of that bad for walk up, but we reach. The, the walk well worth it, man. The view here is so spectacular, you know? Yeah, man, you must see calm, so. Not itching as we missed from before. Out there we got two fishermen out there. I shoot two spear fishermen out there already. Me see them. And three, what, four boat. One, two, oh. three, four boat. Yeah, so. man. Kenada was asking for something to wrap one of his rubber bands. So here I saw two lovely jack made a jack and them. They saw me and swim away. Water visibility it was a little murky at this section. That's a boat, paddle boat. So here is a harder job, it's a snapper. So I made it drop a little distance away and try to sneak towards it. But the snapper didn't came down close to me. It went into a hole and swim out back. This is a hard spear fisherman. He looked like one of the guys that I saw earlier on. enough. I 
saw nothing there. I saw a snapper went in this rock here. I didn't have my flashlight with me, so I was just trying to see if I could spot him close to the whole moon, but I didn't. I saw a barracuda, but it saw me and head off to the deep. I didn't get in close to it. Right here, I'm just sneaking down because sometimes the snappers do hang out under some of these rock here in the trench. There's a little one, that one was too small though. I saw a few guns over by the next rock, so I moved over and made a job. I saw them right here. They are all in the hole now. You can see some surgeon fish swim around and saw me and turn back. A nice gold tail was there. So I surfaced, gained some breath and made a second jump. There is one, that one went back in the rock quick. Gold tail was underneath still, but he wasn't giving any shot. You can see the surgeon fish do the same move again. I can see the gold tail through the hole but it's not a clean shot He turned and went back in the rock No sign of him, not the guns a jack. That one was too small. Balti was telling me that he saw the gold tail down there. So he made a jack trying to see if he could spear. It was a lovely one. Him as well. So I move on from that spot and heading down the sea. This is just a random job, nothing on it. And 
in the early year, we wasn't seeing anything much, just a few fish. So here is a 60 feet job. That's a school of chop over in the distance. I saw a lovely snapper down there, but he was a little bit away from me, so I decided that. I'm gonna head back to the top, warm up myself, and make the next job, which I did. When I almost reached to the bottom, I saw the snapper, and the snapper saw me and started to swim straight to me. I tried to line it up. But it turned off and then a little damsel fish spook it so it run off I missed the opportunity with it. Wait, have you touched that subscription button yet? Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. This water has some depth to it, 60 feet. Jump at the same area. This time the chubs came in close. Never interested in any of the chubs, so I didn't make after them. I was looking for the snapper, but I didn't sigh, so I move on to an next spot. I saw a black chigga fish, made a jump on it. I wasn't sure if I did want to take this fish, so I hesitated. I took the shot and I barely grange it. The spear got stuck down there, and at this spot, it's 60 feet. Very deep. I couldn't pull the spear from the top, so I have to head back down and rip the spear from the sea floor. If you can't manage to go and retrieve your spear in these depths, do not take certain shots because most of the time spears do get stuck and you have to go and retrieve it. So you have to be comfortable diving at some 60 to 70 feet and you can see the time that I took to reach the top. I just barely swim up with less effort. Chasing this one with it head off. And at this time, my camera battery died, so I didn't get to record when I was peeling most of the fish. a lovely spot with some chigga fish and this is the last piece of clip that I managed to record after the camera didn't turn on back yes my people come out of the water now you know 
never get to do a piece of video down from the seaside because the rain start fall a little bit and the GoPro battery dead for me from early out in the water. Yeah man, so we don't get to capture when we catch none of the fish then, but we are gonna show you what we find. You understand? See the catcher? Yeah man. Yeah man, we have a few snappers here. Yeah man, I want a little barracuda. Yeah man, and some grunts. Mm -hmm. Grunts as well. Gold tail. Yeah man, a decent look of catch going, you know? Yeah man, so we know we not itch. I don't know the thing set the rain start fall again. Yes, my people, so you don't know. The rain run me off of the road, run me off of the road a while ago, you know. We didn't even get to do a lot of clip when we are doing no clean up and anything. Because my life you catch everything when I go out, you know. Yeah, man, cause you know. When me go back and I watch back, I like to see everything what happened in the day, you know. Yeah man, God. nothing special to me like them a video when I can ease back and go through them back, you know. So, rain run rough, but nevertheless, yeah man, I have three nice fish and I have a nice fat red belly and a snapper and a grunt. Yeah man, we get a decent catch there, you know. Yeah man, the igloo have a whole heap of fish in the car back when we left. Yeah man, mainly snappers and grunts, you know. A small barracuda and a few red gold tails same you know these ten catch man so when we have ya a them three fish ya so we are gonna do a look of steam you know yeah man so I uh, get up some okra pan them and thing some season on it and you know get it ready so we are go go about doing that ya now you see what go on you know we couldn't catch when me a season it up you know because I'm alone there yeah man, so I'm going to have the help with the camera and stuff. Well, see what? I'm going to go over where I have on it. I have some powder season on it. I use a little some of the jerk season. Yeah man, the original jerk season there. Yeah man, we have skeleton and thyme. We have carrot on it. We have hot pepper. The scotch bonnet pepper on it. Yeah man, we have um, okra on it. And honey on it. Yeah man, and a little piece of garlic, you know. Yeah man, and um, why, what else I go add to it? I go add um, some nougat with a little coconut milk, but the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to mix it out in a little container, and then when it reach, you and everything in the pot, yeah man, I go, had it had in that in it alright but first right now me go put on the pot and you know put in the butter yeah man because the butter go be the thing you know use oil do this apart alright so to that the part you know to slice the butter you know why this apart I can walk I deserve something, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, my people, so coconut milk and the, the milk, you know, we have a mix up in there, the water, yeah, so.
Se está coinea, no, no. So this has come down nice, you know. Yeah, man, it's soon finished, you know. For some white rice, me a look about, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. So me a wait for the rice to come in because we just had it on, you know. Yes, my people, so see it, uh, you can't even see them, but they're dead. Eh? Yeah, man, well steamed, though, you know. A little white rice and a uh, fish, you know, well steamed, though. So, if you made dinner this today, I mean, it was Sunday and food tradition as you know, water yard, yeah, there rice and peas, you know. But you know, a man, a man alone there, then yeah, yard, you cook anything and eat, you know, anything still, but what we want. And you know, we swim for a, a lot of time today, we spend a whole lot of time in the water, and we come out late, so if you come home, come stress one cooking, you know, we work out, you know. Because regular when we are cook, um, when we are cook regular, and I'm alone, so like the peas and the rice we cook from early on. Yeah, man, so when we come and see fish, we have to deal with Yeah, man, but I'm alone, I come home, come do this, and uh, you don't know me have a whole lot of things to come do at home as well, too. So, yeah, man, see so the result, yeah, this are the grunt, yeah, so you know, with some okra and carrot and thing over there, so. So, if you made dinner this, you know, and so never see what go on for this, you know. So, people remember, you know, love and support all the time, you know. Yeah, man, to and from, you know. Yeah, man, and remember, you know, give thanks again, you know. Nasa links, I say, the next one.